Einen wunderschönen, da bin ich auch schon wieder, euer Odin und ich begrüße euch zu einem neuen Angezockt. Diesmal Strategik, Strategik, Mensch, Mind Spirits of Kommunism, also so ähnlich wie das alte Panzergeneral, würde ich sagen. Hoffe ich doch. Da habe ich mal wieder Bock drauf. Musik ist okay, Sprache, Sprache, alles hoch, ja. Musik kann weiter unten sein, das ist halt ein grüner Bereich. So, vielleicht ein Ausschlag, ne? wir können ja vielleicht den Sound doch noch ein bisschen runterregeln. World War I morphed into civil war. The newborn ja, communist ey, Text, state had to Text defeat its English. enemies or die. Was geil ist, the communists survived this deadly struggle hin und, her and the Soviet Union was able to raise its head among the nations. Das ist cool. But that was far from the end of communist struggle. Repeated attempts were made to strangle the young country. Many instigated or outright supported by the capitalist powers. In those years, the growth and modernization of the Red Army was the last. Oh, scheiße, ich wollte eigentlich nur gucken. Comrade Rokosovsky, I have always considered you a very talented officer. Thank you for your trust, Comrade Voroshilov. Until recently, I was planning to promote you to Comcore rank. Uh, why did you change your mind, Comrade Voroshilov? Our ever-vigilant state security has uncovered some horrific facts about you, comrade. You have been spying for both Japan and Poland. I have signed confessions from traitors to the state that prove it. Confess your crimes. Comrade Zhukov. Several days ago, the Japanese have invaded the Mongolian People's Republic. The Soviet Union has promised to defend her from any foreign aggression. Now the Red Army has been ordered to repel that treacherous attack. With a special order, Comrade Stalin... Comrade People's Commissar... The Japanese are attacking from up. They have violated the Mongolian border of a single bridgehead we have on the Eastern River. Do not forget, our bridgehead is under very serious pressure. Thank you for the information, Comrade People's Commissar of State Security. In this case, I must call for reinforcements. At this moment, I am in desperate need of tank units. The first reinforcements will arrive tomorrow. Tank reporting for duty. Your forces are comprised of both core and non-core units. Core unit strength indicator is green and round shaped, and for non-core units it is yellow and hexagon shaped. Non-core units are allocated for one mission only, while the core units will accompany you throughout the campaign. You will be able to level them up and provide them with new equipment. These units are the ones which should be under your primary protection. Ammunition and fuel icons next to unit strength will allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the unit is still able to move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it can no longer move, the icon will be gray. Likewise, the ammunition icon shows whether the unit has attacked this turn. If the unit is low on ammunition or fuel, the corresponding icon is yellow. It becomes red once the unit has run out of it completely. Artillery standing by. Die doch gerne da rin schieben, die Artillerie.
Ja, das muss ich, das Lied kenne ich auch noch. Da kann ich denn jetzt nichts mehr machen. Your reinforcements, Comrade Zhukov, as requested. I kept my word. Now it's up to you to see this operation through. Thank you, Comrade People Skamisar, for defense. This gives me enough to kick those samurai in the teeth like they deserve. Their units probably haven't had time to dig in. On these open plains, our tanks will make short work of them. Okay. Here to hunt some tub brass. Tanks are ideal for a rapid offensive and open terrain. However, they are vulnerable in close quarters to the infantry units in difficult terrain, such as cities, mountains, forests, swamps, shallows, and well-entrenched infantry units. What is your order? You have selected an entrenched unit. When a ground unit finishes its turn while still being able to move, it gains one level of entrenchment. The unit can have up to six levels of entrenchment. Each level of entrenchment increases all defenses by one. The unit loses all levels of entrenchment when it moves. Naval and aircraft units cannot gain entrenchment. Each attack against an entrenched unit reduces the entrenchment level by one. Where to now, comrade commander? Infantry is good for assaulting the enemy positions after the artillery and air bombardment. It is also the best unit for storming cities, mountains, forests, and well-entrenched positions. A well-entrenched infantry is a tough target for the enemy assault. Damage is indicated with the numbers above the unit being attacked. For ground and aircraft units, there are two types of damage, lethal and non-lethal. Both lethal and non-lethal damage decrease the unit's strength. However, non-lethal damage at the same time increases the number of units damage, which can later be restored. Naval units always receive only lethal damage. However, they have multiple ship parts with their corresponding HP. Thus, damage against them is split. Ship parts except the hull are repaired over time by ship maintenance. Hull HP cannot be restored in any way during the operation. Standing by for orders. They'll regret coming to our land. Motherland's armor! Artillery is the basis of the firepower of your forces. It can weaken enemy fortifications to allow your troops to attack without heavy losses. It is also good for defense, as it provides fire support to the ground units within its range. 
However, its main strength is its long firing range, which allows you to destroy the enemy troops from afar. Remember though, artillery is vulnerable to aircraft attacks and in close combat, so it needs to be protected. So. Just point the gun towards the enemy. At once, comrade commander. Taking aim. Ugh, I'm getting cooked inside this thing. Blast them. Beware the fire support of the enemy artillery if you attack enemy troops with an artillery unit nearby. Swift and deadly. Oh, I see you. Ich war Japaner. Ich habe gar nicht so viel Basen. Das weiß ich nicht, dass irgendwie. Ich habe halt nur die Beden. Jetzt dann eine Runde beenden. The village of Jinjin Sume lies at the intersection of several strategic routes. <laughs> Shells are running low. This unit has run out of ammunition. Move it within the supply zone to resupply it. Supply zone is marked with a white box symbol in the upper corner of each hexagon while the unit is selected. We fight together, we die together. Tanks ain't afraid of no dirt. Ready to high explosives. Your unit has just triggered an overrun skill. Every time a unit with an overrun skill defeats an enemy unit, it gains the ability to move and attack again. We've got nothing to pound them with. Standing by for orders. Adjusting sights. Tank reporting for duty. Taking aim. Reconnaissance is extremely important in an offensive, since it provides you with full intelligence information regarding the presence of enemy forces, thus making your attack more effective. A reconnaissance unit can move several times per turn, as long as it has move points left. Once the reconnaissance unit notices the enemy, it automatically stops and they can move again. If an enemy surrenders to your reconnaissance unit, it gains full information about all the enemy units nearby. Tanks ain't afraid of no dirt! Casualties. Hit 
Hit confirmed. We've repelled the Japanese attack on our beachhead. We hammered those capitalist samurai. Comrades, now is not the time to celebrate. Zhukov, just crush them with a- We can't- You are- But do as you wish. I hope the units you have will be enough to storm Bainzagan. The Japanese that grabbed Bainzagan are completely- Congratulations. Now, and the no- My report- Thank you for the warning, Comrade Beria. We'll welcome the samurai- Where to now, Comrade Commander? Can you hear the thunder? Tactical bombers are flying artillery and a great tool for wreaking havoc on any enemy troops. Although you have to be careful of the anti-aircraft units overwatch and fire support. It is better to scout the enemy positions before sending in bombers. Do not leave your tactical bombers without protection. Remember, they are a prime target for enemy fighter planes. This is a long-range bomber. It has higher fuel capacity and more defense, but lower attack parameters due to the higher altitude of bombing runs. Such bombers are better escorted with long-range fighters or fighters fitted with extra fuel tanks during their long-range mission. They'll regret coming to our land! Blasted to pieces! Firing the heavy caliber! They'll regret coming to our land! Tanks ain't afraid of no dirt! Ready to roll all over them! Making tracks! Grafik ist natürlich nicht die tollste, wie ihr seht. Opening fire! Kill confirmed! Reloading! Aber darum geht es ja auch gar nicht großartig. Quiet as a stalking cat. At once, Comrade Commander. Geht ja eher um die Strategie und so. Fire. Fighter planes are vital for gaining air superiority. Keep your fighters close to allied aircraft you want to protect, and they will provide fire support. Fighters are able to attack ground targets, although with low efficiency. They can use the Overwatch breakthrough skill to counter enemy anti-aircraft fire and clear the way for tactical bombers. Tank crew awaiting orders. Burning diesel. Blast them! We've got nothing to pound them with. Lass ich mal lieber da stehen. Na, noch einer ist ja da. Aircraft team has sustained heavy losses. You need to land it at an airfield within a supply zone for repairs.
It seems like the Japanese fighter pilots are getting an upper hand against our aircraft. How did they learn to fly like that? Target confirmed. Hit them. That won't last. We won't let samurai fly circles around Soviet pilots. I am sending you a squadron of our finest aces and also a crack unit of anti-aircraft artillery. That's all you should need to get air superiority. Stalin's Falcons will teach the Japanese a lesson in aerobatics. They'll learn to fear us. Bomber squadron at your command. En route. Watch out, it's anti-aircraft overwatch fire. It is costly to attack the enemy positions protected by anti-aircraft units. Try making a preliminary attack on the enemy anti-aircraft units to disable their overwatch ability before sending any aircraft squadrons to engage them. We fight together, we die together. Opening fire! Just point the gun towards the enemy. We've got nothing to pound them with. Taking a new position. Motherland's armor! We don't need roads! We're in a tank! Be careful when you send your tanks into city, mountain, and forest terrain. If they run into enemy infantry, any skirmish will likely result in heavy losses due to close quarters. Ready to roll all over them! Is that where the fighting is? Your unit has been withdrawn from a supply zone. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. The supply zone is marked with a white box symbol in the upper corner of each hexagon while the unit is selected. Your orders. Ich gehe immer automatisch hier unten bei Aufträge rein. Wo ich mit denen hätte neue Kunst. This unit is on the verge of defeat. Tank reporting for duty. At once, Comrade Commander. Ich 
repariert, wenn die Messung mal stehen. Where to now, Comrade Commander? Kann nicht mehr angreifen. Can you hear the thunder? Unload the bombs! Wie viele sind denn da? Teil aber mit Juna. Your orders. When in doubt, improvise. Moving out. Just point the gun towards the enemy. Burning diesel. Just tell us the coordinates. Yes, Comrade Commander. Ready to roll all over them. Covering ground. We fight together, we die together. Ich keine Munition mehr oder was? Ach, null. Ah. Standing by for orders. Tanks ain't afraid of no dirt. Where to now, Comrade Commander? Making tracks. What is your command? Bomber Squadron at your command. Unload the bombs! This target has the fire support of enemy fighter planes. It is costly to attack any enemy plane next to an enemy fighter. Quiet 
There's a stalking cat. Ready to roll all over them. Understood. Blast them! Kill confirmed! Reloading! The ground will shake. Recon team awaiting orders. Team, let's show some professionalism. Pass on the highlight, it's already unaware, yeah? von allen Seiten jetzt attackiert. Here it comes. Okay, no better. We're attacking. Improvise. Ah. Bomber squadron at your command. Open the bomb chute. We fight together, we die together. New asset captured. You have captured an enemy. The Japanese are getting reinforcements on the Mongolian border. Prepare for the enemy counterattack. We beat them before. This time will be no different. At once, comrade commander. They'll regret coming to our land. This unit has heavy equipment. Units with heavy equipment cannot move if they do not have ground transport. Additionally, they cannot board air transport and can only disembark from naval transport at a seaport. We'll be there soon. Manchmal könnte der, der Mauszeiger ein bisschen nicht so schnell sein. They are trying to escape our effective range. Warum kommen sie schon wieder mit dem Panzer an? Bomb should loaded to the brim.
must be awful to be on the ground right now. What is your command? The ground will shake. Damn, it's cold up here. Flying there. Your aircraft is running out of fuel. In order to refuel, the aircraft has to land in the air. Look at that. An ace in the making. They'll hear it coming. Schade, ich sehe hier zwar die Einheiten, was ich so kaufen kann. Den Preis. Ach, da unten ist der Preis. Ah, okay, hier. Ja, dann können wir die auch nochmal holen. Dann bin ich aber pleite. Just point the gun towards the enemy. Firing the heavy caliber. Infantry waiting for orders. Comrades, attack! Ready to roll all over them. Two, three, fire! Is that where the fighting is? Standing by for orders. Two, three, fire! Is that where the fighting is? On our last shells! Ich war mal richtig gut in so einem Spiel früher. So ein Lito früher. Also PS1 Zeit. Und da erinnert mich der Zeit auch alle so die mit den Waben und mit den Scheiße. Alle dran. Comrade Stalwit. Naja, hab ich verloren. Sollte ja auch nur ein Testspiel sein. Also die Grafik ist, ihr seht, nicht die schönste. Es geht aber da eher um Strategie. Ist aber nicht für jeden. Und die da drauf sich, das ist ja eher so alles so, 
ist eher so ein bisschen PS1-Grafik, aber ein bisschen hübscher schon als PS1-Grafik. Ähm, außer mit den Animationen, das hatten wir damals nicht. Aber sonst, auch das, was man jetzt so sieht, das ja. Aber es geht ja dann eher um den strategischen Gedanken. Und die Musik kommt mir irgendwo ja bekannt vor aus einem anderen Spiel. Ich überlege nur die ganze Zeit, woher. Kommen wir nicht drauf. Also ich ist so an sich ist es nicht schlecht. Ja, wie gesagt, die Grafik, klar, brauchen wir uns nicht drüber streiten. Ähm, Spaß machen tut es trotzdem. Ich bin jetzt nicht mehr so gut drin wie früher, aber hat mir trotzdem Spaß gemacht. Und ich, wie gesagt, ich glaube nicht, dass es was für jeden ist. So also strategische Spiele und so. Und in der heutigen Zeit ein Spiel, wo man die Sowjetunion ist, lässt sich auch drüber streiten, würden jetzt einige sagen. <lacht> Aber naja, okay. Muss man sich selber sein Bild drüber machen. So, von mir wartet jetzt. Ich wollte es euch nur mal vorstellen, vorführen. Äh, wir sehen uns im nächsten Video. Bis dahin. Ahoi. Sagt euer Odin. Achso, ich lade so wie das ist. Hoch, auch wenn es die Grafik so aussieht. Unkomprimiert, damit ihr so nah wie möglich an der Erfahrung dran seid, wie ich jetzt hier vor mir habe. Ich nehme mit einer sehr hohen Bildrate in 4K auf, damit ihr wirklich das so seht, wie ich es hier sehe. Ja? Von daher, Ahoi, sagt euer Odin.